No quantum computer. No artificial intelligence. Just circuits and code, powered by hope. It was never designed to go this far. It wasn't supposed to last this long. But Voyager 1 defied all expectations. It crossed the boundaries of planets, pierced through solar winds, and drifted into silence. Until now. Voyager 1 is speaking again. Not to engineers. Not even to the people who built it. It's not just strange, it's impossible. For months, the spacecraft had fallen eerily quiet. NASA feared it had finally gone dark. But just when hope seemed lost, Voyager blinked back to life. Barely detectable. But inside that signal, something new. Something unnatural. It wasn't telemetry. Not radiation. Not magnetic fields. It was a pulse. Rhythmic. Measured. Intentional. As if something was out there, responding. Not from Earth. Not from Voyager. But from the darkness surrounding it. The signal had a pattern, like a whisper through space. A cosmic heartbeat. Researchers filtered the noise, layered the waves, and saw something horrifying. The pulse was not random. It was tracking Voyager's movement. Following its path. Keeping pace like a shadow in the dark. Voyager wasn't alone. It was being watched. Or worse, guided. The waves of plasma around the probe weren't behaving naturally. They rose and fell like tides. Not chaotic, but time. Synchronized to Voyager's transmissions. And then the real mystery began. On the spacecraft's 50th launch anniversary, an anomaly appeared. A sudden drop in frequency. A perfect spiral when plotted in 3D space. Not a malfunction. A design. The same shape etched into the golden record Voyager carries. A Fibonacci spiral. A universal constant. A message. But who was sending it? The answer? No one knows. But this wasn't all. When the signal was inverted, filtered, and compressed, it formed echoes. Not sound, but structure. Symbols. Shapes. Patterns. Some of them identical to carvings found in ancient earth caves. Markings we once thought were just primitive art, now seen in data from beyond the stars. Was this a coincidence? Or a forgotten connection? A loop in time? Something older than memory, waking up again? Then, Voyager went silent. Exactly 12 minutes and one second of complete blackness. Not. 12, not 13, just, 1201. A deliberate silence. During that pause, radio telescopes on Earth picked up low-frequency pulses. Not from Voyager, but nearby. As if something was broadcasting back. And the frequency matched a human heartbeat. Ours. Something out there was mirroring us. Watching us. And maybe, understanding us. The decoded signal revealed shapes. Geometries that shouldn't occur in nature. They obeyed rules. They repeated. They evolved. And the coordinates they pointed to? A fixed point in space. Not a planet. Not a star. But something hidden. Something that moves when we're not looking. Scientists now call it, the watcher point. An invisible region Voyager is slowly approaching. Some believe it's a remnant of an ancient intelligence. Others believe, it's still alive. What if Voyager was never just a probe? What if it was a key? A test? A signal sent not to explore the unknown, but to prove we were ready for what's out there. And now, something is answering. Not with words. Not with sound. But with mathematics. With time. With silence. Maybe Voyager wasn't just built to explore. Maybe it was built to be found. And if that's true, then we are not alone. We never were. The silence didn't last forever. But what came after changed everything. 
When Voyager 1 spoke again, its signal was different. Just change. It was as if the probe had passed through something. A threshold. The frequency had shifted, not just in hertz but in structure. A new modulation. A strange cadence. It was no longer broadcasting only data, it was singing. Mathematicians were the first to notice it. The waveform had harmony. Layered rhythms that resembled chords. As if the signal now had music. Not random tones, but deliberate intervals. A melody buried inside mathematics. And it wasn't Voyager creating it. Something else was playing along. A duet, across the stars. Back on Earth, teams raced to understand. They ran the signal through linguistic AI, spectral analyzers, even tools used in ancient music archaeology. And then it happened. A breakthrough. When slowed down by a factor of pi, and mapped against golden ratio intervals, the signal revealed visual formations. Not images. Not video. But a sequence of evolving fractals, self-replicating patterns that bloomed outward like galaxies. It was like watching something grow. It felt alive. And inside those shapes, something even stranger, interruption points. Tiny breaks in the sequence, at regular intervals. Researchers called them, knocks, because when converted to sound, they were like tapping. Three knocks. A pause. Then five. Then eight. A Fibonacci sequence, again. But this time, the knocks weren't just marks. They were coordinates. Position markers that mapped not space, but time. More precisely, a countdown. A moment predicted somewhere near 2030. No one knows what's coming. But something is moving toward that date. And Voyager may have been the first to feel its gravity. Then came the anomaly from Mars. An orbital telescope picked up unexplained magnetic pulses, matching the same cadence as Voyager's latest signal. The pulses were not coming from space. They were echoing from beneath the Martian crust. Dormant for centuries. Now active. And when plotted, the geometry of the pulses matched the same spiral found in Voyager's broadcast. Something ancient was waking up. Was it coincidence? Or were we seeing the same message, repeating across the solar system? Voyager's journey, it seems, is no longer a solo expedition. It has become a trigger. A relay. A spark lighting up echoes buried in forgotten places. From the depths of Mars to the outer edges of Neptune, faint disturbances are being recorded. Electromagnetic anomalies. Unexplained gravitational flickers. And now, radio silence on multiple space probes once thought dormant. As if they too were listening. Or responding. One theory now haunts the scientific community. That the universe is not quiet. It's just waiting. And Voyager was the question. A question posed by our species. And now, we are receiving the answer. Not all scientists agree. Some say it's coincidence. Sensor error. Quantum interference. But those who've studied the full data, the harmonics, the glyphs, the countdown, know better. Too much structure. Too much precision. Too much intention. One whisper from deep space put it best. This is not a signal. This is a summons. The watcher point, still dark, still unmeasurable, has begun to emit radiation bursts again. Regular. Time. Counting something. And Voyager? It's still moving. Still transmitting. Still responding to something we can't see. As if caught in a slow conversation across dimensions. If we follow the signals, if we continue to decode their geometry, their cadence, their strange music, we may find answers. Or we may find an arrival. So the question isn't whether we're alone. 